Amongst the panic of the FTX implosion, a bored ape sold for $700,000 today. And if you're still here watching this, that means that you are probably going to make it during the next bull run because 95% of the people in crypto and NFTs are gone. Today, we're going to get caught up with some NFT news. We're going to discuss my opinion on how you make money in this bear market. And we're going to talk about a few upcoming projects that I think that you should keep on your radar. If you are looking for an NFT community to call home, Canto Labs is here for you. We have remained one of the most active NFT communities during this bear market. We source spots for all the best upcoming NFT projects, and we are working together to navigate through this market and make as much money as we can. I'll make sure to put the link down below, and I will be giving away one free month to Canto Labs. All you have to do is drop a like and a comment down below and I will pick somebody and you can claim one free month if I pick you. So to begin, I realized that everybody has probably heard about the FTX collapse that has trickled down into the NFT market as well. Obviously when crypto has a violent crash, that also has an effect on NFTs. We're currently in a slow bleed, as you can see in this chart that we're looking at right now on Dune, but there are still opportunities to make money in the NFT market. As per usual, everything I say in all these videos are not financial advice, so I'm gonna throw that out there. Now to start, if you are trading NFTs on ETH, yes, you are down bad, but you are not nearly as down bad as the people on Solana. Solana is currently trading at $13, which is down about $240 from its all-time high of like 250 or something like that. Now, with that being said, there is one thing that I did want to mention as a piece of alpha to begin this video, which is Utes and D-Gods. Earlier this week, Frank D-Gods put out a tweet mentioning that there might be a bridge to ETH. I think that he ended up deleting it because he didn't want to instill panic or, or, or you know, he, whenever he says things, it, it really does have an effect on the market. For those of you who don't know, Frank D. Gods is the founder of D. Gods and Utes. And one thing that I will say is that if for some reason that does end up happening, D. Gods and Utes will go absolutely crazy. Right now, Utes are selling for around one ETH to put it into perspective. To talk about a project that would have been very profitable if you got whitelist, we're going to dig in a little bit on KPR. So KPR was a 0.2 mint. These ran all the way to one ETH. Tons of people were bullish on this project and it subsequently tanked all the way down under mint price to 0.16. If this were a bull market, I think that this would have had a PXN type run, which means that I think that these could have run to at least three, four, maybe even five ETH with all the hype that was behind KPR. If you got whitelist or you bought on secondary when the whitelist started minted, you would have had an opportunity to make profit on this project. But unfortunately, there is not enough liquidity in the market to hold up a lot of floors unless there is a project that is just widely known as one of the best projects, the future, whatever, it is very difficult for a floor to sustain these days. And with that being said, I'm very interested to see what happens with Valhalla. Both of these give off this anime vibe. They have very similar styles, two completely different projects and what they're offering. But Valhalla announced that they are actually doing a 0.5 mint for 9,000 of their NFTs. So this is now double the price of KPR. And though people are very bullish on Valhalla, I am very interested to see how this plays out. I'm going to watch this one from the sidelines, and I think that KPR was a little bit of an indication as to what could potentially happen with Valhalla. Wob.eth, who is the notorious founder of Sappy Seals, tweeted, he goes, curious why Valhalla needs a 5,000 ETH community cash injection when they've just raised $15 million through VCs. The collection looks good, the team has great credentials, and they seem to be building cool quality stuff but I don't understand the 5,000 ETH bit. And the one thing that I will say about this is that in comparison to bull market mint prices, back during the bull market, projects were selling for 0 0.1, 0 0.2, ETH was at 3K, which is very close to the equivalent of what a 0.5 mint would be today with this ETH price. The thing is, is that times have changed. In a stunning piece of crazy news today, this trippy ape sold for 613 WETH. Somebody put a collection offer on around 17 apes and somebody accepted this bid almost immediately, which is crazy because this comes just two days after the board ape floor tanked all the way down to 49.95 ETH. I know this market is very scary, but what's crazy is that if you had picked up a board ape at 50 ETH, 
you could have sold it for 10 ETH more just a couple days later. I realize not everybody has that kind of ETH laying around, but the same thing kind of happened to Mutant Apes as well. You can see that the floor is currently 11.5. These went as low as 9 ETH. The crypto and NFT markets are very volatile, but one piece of advice that I saw from Cyrus, who is one of my favorite people on Twitter, he tweeted, lots of Yuga fear on the timeline today, so felt like a good time to do a little shopping. And then he followed up with it two days later and said, both gone for 5.7 ETH profit in two days. Next time people are hosting spaces titled, here's why the BAYC floor is crashing, click buy. I think that this was a good example of buying fear and I don't think that this is the last time that this is going to happen. To discuss a couple upcoming projects real quick, the first one that I wanted to talk about was Oange. This is a very hype project that I got spots for, for Canto Labs. Now, what I will say is that this is a 10,000 supply project at 0.2. I personally think that the mint price is a little bit high. With that being said, they have done some collabs. They did one with Juni, which is a project we're going to talk about in a second. They did a Spaces with Homa Games, which is a project that sold out earlier today. This is a project that I want to keep my eye on, mostly because everyone in the NFT community is talking about it right now. We can segue into Juni, which is another anime project that should be dropping somewhat soon. Currently, all the info for this project is all we can say for now is that our team shares a passion for art, digital assets, and having a strong community supporting artists and collectors. A fellow YouTuber, Patrick Dang, is one of the advisors for this project, and I think that currently the anime meta is in, so I will be watching this and we will see how this one goes. Next project that I wanted to talk about is Dark Labs, which is a project from Amir Hussein. They are doing this application style. So as you can see, very similar to the way that Utes did their whitelist. Amir is one of the bigger names in the NFT space. With Amir adding in Dark Labs to the Dark Echelon ecosystem, I do believe that this is going to be a good opportunity to get into their community. I definitely wanna keep an eye on this to see how this goes. In terms of very early projects, this is one that I did wanna mention. It's called Bunny Kitty. I don't know anything about it really at all. Uh, it was shared to me by one of my friends, NFT boy. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know about him if you're looking into upcoming projects. Drop this one a follow. Let's see if it does something. And then the last project that I wanted to talk about is one that I mentioned on this channel at 1,000 followers. It's called School Data. It's a pixel anime project. I personally love pixel art. This is something that has grown substantially. We did get spots for Canto Labs for this project as well. Project Atama mentioned that School Data is going to be joining their official launch pad. So I'm assuming that that means that they are helping with the project. And Project Atama is one of my favorite projects that's out there. This community is one of the best communities. I know that MGL, who is their founder, who we're gonna have on the channel, is really kicking ass with this. And so I am interested to see how School Data will end up doing. Just wanted to put a couple upcoming projects on your radar, talk about what has been happening within the NFT market. I hope you're not too down bad. You're not alone. We're all in the same boat. But if you are watching this video, I do think that you are giving yourself a step up to be prepared for the next time that NFTs do run. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, join my Discord, and I hope you guys have a good day.